Welcome to Crochet HD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I consider you a one hit wonder. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, extra value is what you get when you buy. I just didn't feel like saying the last word, even though it is definitely bouncing in and out of my brain right now. I just wanna show you something that I received from a friend of mine named Lynn. She is the dyer of I don't want to say behind. I always hate when people say that, but she is the dyer of the Chicken Lady Fiber Arts company business. Anyway, I just want to show you a couple of the things that she sent. She sent these as a prize. Uh, one of these is going to be a prize in the hip to be square Mal, and she left it up to me to decide which And she left it up to me to decide which one is for you and which one is for me. Let me go ahead and show you what we have already. This. Ooh. <laughs> this is so pretty. I, I think this is a number five chunky because it looks chunky. This is called Rhode Island Red. It is 100% superwash rambouillet. This is my first time touching Rimbolet. It's definitely different than Merino and it's different than 100% like Shetland wool. This colorway is called PIK, which stands for Politically Incorrect Knitters. It is 196 yards or 115 grams and it just says number six to number nine U.S. needles, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Um, and it's hand dyed in Western Colorado. Look at this, look at these colors. These are like, oh, when I see this, it makes me think of Morocco for some reason. I, no clue why, but yeah, Morocco. So this is really pretty. So this is the first skein. The second skein is this. Ooh, pretty. And I'm smiling. Okay, this is on her Americana, but it's spelled Kana. I'm assuming that all of these bases are named after chickens which makes sense since she's a chicken lady fiber arts. This is 100% superwash merino. This is 250 yards. So that tells me that this is a DK. Um, number four to number five, US knitting needles, hand wash, dry flat. In her collection of, of misheard lyrics, uh, Lynn, if, if you still have this, like line <laughs> and you need some inspiration <laughs> this one is called whip me with your sweat socks oh is it showing you whip me with your sweat socks <laughs> so when i was trying to figure out which one i wanted to keep like i was first thinking you know i like this because you know I've never played with this kind of yarn, but then whip me with your sweat socks, y'all. So I'm pretty sure this is, this is my winner and this is your winner. And speaking of winners, while I'm at it, let me look at my note here. She said that as a gift to all of y'all, she is giving a 15% off discount and I will put the code right here so that y'all can experience, especially this Rambouillet. So a 15% off discount that is good from now until March 31st of 2024. How is that? She even said, <laughs> because y'all are totally tubular. <laughs> now there's also something else that she put in here. I have not opened this. I'm gonna read the description. It is 
a sampler box. It contains her eight most requested bases. Each one is about two yards each. I'm hoping that if it's not enough to make a full square, that maybe I can put a couple of them together to make a square for my hip to be square project, which, oh. mm -hmm. I think I figured out what my finished project was gonna be and I for forgot just like that. I'm not making a blanket, but I just forgot what it was. Oh, it's, it's gonna be a wrap. That's it, because I've never done like a rectangular type wrap, so that's what it's gonna be. All right, are we ready? Because I'm gonna stop talking. I love this, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you gotta get. Oh, I see, oh! Let me see if I can. So here's, here's what you're looking at. So everything is gonna be the same color, which is the hazy purple colorway, but then, but then, you know, there's gonna be all these different ones. So I'm going to cleanse my palette so that we can sample this properly. Here we go. I'm cool, y'all. Y'all know I'm cool. Mm. Whoo. Let's see. Starting with the first one, I'm probably going to say this wrong. I'm sorry. Cerama, S-E-R-A-M-A. -A. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen. This is an 80-20 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. Uh, the full skein comes at 434 yards or 115 grams. And it's, I, okay, here we go. Look how, look how small this is. But, you know, when I saw the name of it being hazy purple, I guess I just assumed it was just going to be like, you know, purple. But I love the different colors. Am I, am I, am I helping? Am I, am I that's pretty. Oh, duh. They're all different. Y'all forgive me. I, I'm going to tell you this much. This is the fingering weight one. And I, I'm going to use this in one of my squares. Underneath this, she gave me puckers. Our next one is Cerama Bamboo. This is a 60-30-10 Superwash Merino Bamboo Nylon. This is also 434 yards or 115 grams. Okay, so this is fingering also. Oh, now look, okay. This is your Superwash Nylon. This is the Superwash, I said that right. Super, this is Super, this is the 80-20. And this is the 60-30-10. Same color, but look how differently the dye. So these are both fingering weight, so I can use them together. Oh, this is going to be a really cool looking square. If I get it made up by the time I upload this video, I will put in a, pop in a picture, like right here. If not, I'm just going to go like this. That is neat how, that is neat. Okay, I forgot to do the thing. Oh. You know how I always say I have this bamboo and I, but this, I think I can get down with this because it's mostly wool and yeah, I think I can get down with this. These two are going in a square together. And more chocolate. All right, our third base is the Americuna, which is what this one is. And is it a Kauna? Kauna? Americana? Americana. I'm just going to say it's Americana. All right, 100% superwash merino, 230 yards, 100 grams. I like how dark that is. All right, I'm showing you these three next to each other. This is probably gonna get dangerous as I go on, but I'm trying to make sure I put them back in the right boxes. I like the, yeah. Oh, 
There was no chocolate in that third one. Oh well. All right, next is her DK sock base, which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it comes in a 245 yard hank or for 100 grams. There we go. Look at the springy, 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 like a spring chicken. <laughs> And there's no reason why I can't make. Huh? Oh, there's no reason why I can't make shawls. No, I, there's no reason why I can't make squares. Different, a different size, you know. I like these. All right, number next. Y'all, I'm going to have to educate myself seriously on chicken names because I'm just looking at this and it might as well be written in Sanskrit. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Well, I will have already done this for all of them. So here we go. I'm not even going to say it. It's this, which is 801010 Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon, 181 yards per 100 grams. That's fluffy. That is so cool how the same colors. Ooh, okay, I like whatever that name is. Why and why I like this. That's a that's a chunky. Almost a bulky, maybe. A bulky chunky? A chunky bulky. A chunky bulky bulky chunky. A chunky bulky. A bulky chunky. A chunky chunky bulky 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 chunky. Next. Rhode Island Red. This is the 100% Superwash Rambouillet. 200 yards per 100 grams. Okay, I'm going to put that one next to this one. Can you all see the difference just in the coloring? That is so pretty. And these are like my favorite colors. I mean, all my colors are my favorite colors. That's not what I meant to say. I love this. I got a shawl that I made. That's pretty. Okay, so this is the same as this. Like thickness. All right. Next is, I think that says silky. Yes, 85.15. Merino silk. So it doesn't say superwash. So maybe it's not. But oh wow. Th okay, let me tell you what this color reminds me of. Long, long time ago, when my girls were really small, I, uh, I, I was like, like the thing I was crocheting most when they were small were hats for them. And I don't mean winter hats, but I was making like bucket hats and cloche hats, you know, they had like the flowers on them. I made a lot of hats. And one colorway that I had was called it was it was Red Heart Super Saver. Huh? But the color was called Monet, and I had made a hat for not Hetty, and it was like this this was the colorway. And she loved that hat. She loved that hat so much. And she outgrew it. And that was like a sad day in the household. No, no, no joke. Because when I say she outgrew it, technically she was wearing it much, much later than she should have been because her head was far too large for it. Um, and I attempted to frog it so that I could remake it. But the yarn was not willing to go along with that. So the only thing I was able to salvage, okay, I'm gonna finish my story, but today I've learned a lot about the Mandela effect and how what you think and what the truth is, not always the same. Okay, because it's all, no, right, man. So the only thing I was able to salvage from that hat was the little flower that I had attached to it. 
And remember I said that this is the color that it reminded me of. This is the flower, which means this is the yarn, the Monet colorway yarn. I don't think that's the same. But in my mind, it is. Look at this. I used to get all of my patterns for their hats from a website that was called Yarn Cat. She had some of the most gorgeous hat patterns and different styles. She, yeah, I don't know if she's still around or not, but Yarn Cat. Last is Leghorn. A boy, I say boy. This is 100% super wash merino, 150 yards for 125 grams. And okay, so. All right, so this is, this is our leg horn. <laughs> I'm trying real, real hard. Okay, I mean, you see it though, right? Like, anyway. Look how different. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is very, very cool. I love, I love the presentation of this. I love that you get a little bit to play with and I love that it has chocolate in it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I love that it has extra goodies in it. So thank you, Lynn, for, well, first of all, for contributing to our giveaway. I'm so happy that so many of y'all are taking on this. It's not a monumental thing because that makes it sound like it's hard. I'm so glad that Huey Lewis whispered into my ear and in turn had me whisper to y'all. And now y'all have been infected by Huey Lewis and the news. Y'all are the news. Oh, it was Huey Lewis's news. The news was here, there, everywhere. Let's all make squares. Let me show you my shirt. Isn't it great? <sighs> Back when MTV played videos. Not Hetty got me the blah, blah. Not Hetty got this for me. She spoils me. She's such a good girl. I love her so much. She's not listening. And she doesn't watch my videos, so that that's how you know that what I'm saying is legit. Yeah, whip me with your sweat socks. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to keep this one for me. For moi. Or maybe this one. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. So thank you, Lynn, again for not only sharing this, but also being totally tubular and sharing the love with y'all this is this y'all this is just for glam famers okay it's not like one of those you know coupons that make you feel special and you find out that everybody and their grandmother got one no this one is just it's just between us so yay and if y'all happen to hop over to her youtube channel tell her that jackie said hey you know just to let her know it's always nice when we can support one another and oh, yarny love is yarny love is yarny love. I absolutely love these little boxes. I want to check to see if she sells these because I think that's a cool idea. And, you know, even this, this is cool. I'm gonna cake up some yarn. I'm gonna cake up some yarn. Oh, now that I look at this more, it reminds me of like the tube socks from the 1970s. I'm gonna cake up some yarn. I'm gonna put this in a safe spot in the giveaway stash. I kept saying that. It's not giveaway. It's the prize pile. Okay. Yes. The prize pile. It is here. That is all for y'all. That is all for y'all. 
that is all the time I'm going to take. I apologize if I have interrupted anything important. You could always pause me. That's that's okay. I don't mind. I understand you have a life that you have to live and I get that. I mean, I have a life that insists that I live it. So, you know, I get it. I get it. I get that. If you want to come back at some point later on and you haven't already clicked that subscribe button right there and rocked that notification bell, I don't understand what you're waiting for. We are doing great things this year and I am so happy for it. So let's do it. I'm sorry. I'm just okay. Until next time, I've been Jackie.